Salutations everyone and welcome back to TNO, the last series of Europe in which we're playing as, well, I guess, the state of Sust Sisolusk. Got a few comments to go through, but we're currently at war with these red guys, the West Russian Revolutionary Front, and which last time we did it encircled the division and took them out, which was very, very quite bueno. In the meantime though, we have divisions in the south that we probably have to deal with first, even though I would love to get to the capital, so hopefully we can encircle these guys and make them go bye-bye. One of the comments from yesterday included that apparently it wasn't Kossijan, that's not how you pronounce his name, but it's Koss... Oh no, I have to say Kossijan, it's Kossijan, yeah. It's not Kossijan, Kossijan. Cool. Hmm, actually, uh, Yeah, the tiles up here are so big. So big, they're huge. Um, oh, oh, well, it's pretty smart for them to do that. However, where are my boaties? Boaties, you guys. You go right there. I'll break them out. You'll be fine. Oh, they have two division. You know what? You know what? Screw it. We're going this way. We're making a slight detour. We're going to circle them right on back. Especially once you can break over the river. And they attack us. So be it whatever. All that matters is that we are able to... Hey! There we go. And they defeated Vologda, which is not very good. Oh my goodness, that's a big old line there. If you get to the capital, that would be great. Yeah, don't let him move. You pieces of garbage, don't. Just don't. I I don't want to lose that tile. You guys go down there, see what happens. Maybe. Maybe just beat him up. Can you do that? Crack the coalition, cool. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. The new oaths. The coalition lies in shambles. Its members are feuding with each other, both in the debating hall and the streets. And the National Assembly is aimless in its direction. If its representatives were to swear allegiance to one party, it would do much to restore public faith in the government, particularly as few citizens believe that they have loyalty to anyone other than themselves. However, the question of who to swear loyalty to remains. It is so divided amongst party lines, and pledging allegiances to one would only unite the Assembly against them. Many deals and compromises would have to be made between leadership and representatives, but a united Assembly may just be possible. Cool. Keep him in place. Come on, move, 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 move. Shafarovich splits. He dropped his pen with a sigh regarding his latest letter. It was quite possibly the most important letter of his political career. A make or break f moment for him. Enclosed inside would be what would crack the right in half. Shafa Shafarovich was splitting, forming his own group inside the passionary. Him and Gumilov had never seen eye to eye in everything, of course, and perhaps the split was inevitable. The main force binding them together beforehand was mutual distress on the center and the left, after all. Without either of those posing a serious challenge, the cracks had widened into chasms, and it was no longer expedient or really even tenable to maintain the alliance. Across the right, the pieces fall as passionary members proclaim their loyalty to one side or the other. Most importantly, however, was the way in which Serov and Taborsky would fall. Though neither commanded nearly as much influence as Shafarovich or Gubalov, their support could be could be the push that would make or break one side's plan. These thoughts all rushed through Shafarovich's mind as he handed the letter to his secretary, now was the hour where Russia's future would be decided. Ooh. Decreases the influence of Gumilev, which is good for us. Because, right now... I, so, I do have some water and some coffee here, though. Uh, the monarchist influence is very strong. It's above everyone else. Oh, we lose stability. We get more fascism. But we lose stability. Oh. Why do you pain me so? Come on, guys. Move faster. Move faster. I We have to keep them encircled. Oh, we actually beat them up. Nice. Nice job, guys. Go there, take the capital or victory point. Oh, we actually beat that tile too. Come on, move faster. I know you're trying to get over a river here. I know it sucks. Screw it, you're going this way too. God dang it. Ah. Go oh my god, you're so flipping slow. I don't care about the four or a river. Forest or river. Doesn't matter to me. I really don't care. I'll be honest, I really don't care. You go here, you go here, we get, we have an opportunity to kill off another division. You guys should be able to do this. Force the attack. We have eight divisions, which is not bad, but still. Don't tell me they escaped. Please don't tell me they actually escaped. No, for the love of God, no. Uh, yeah, going over there, going over that top would not be great. Just want to circle destroy them. That's all I want. Help them out. 69. Nice. So, hey, we got two done. Great. It's still 64. It's almost 65. It's almost 65. We could get more factory output. 
That would not be bad to do. Let's start doing at least one thing for land doctrine. Combine operations, maneuver warfare, which we don't have. Well, we do have IFVs. Uh, tanks. I almost never choose this because it doesn't make sense for us to really do this. Tanks and motorized are kind of things that we don't have right now. So, And strategic theorem doctrine. Nutrition planning. Leg defense. That's so good. Oh, plus 15% more soft attack, but I prefer more organization and defense. And more entrenchment is always pretty nice. Uh, you know what? We'll probably go down this side. This side? This side. Yeah, let's do this side. Strategic Theorem. Nice. And... Uh, let's grab some of this. It's, 2%, it's only 2% more soft attack. It's kind of like milk. Except I don't think milk gives you soft attack, but that's just me. Come on, guys. Break through. It doesn't matter what they're doing down here. Just kill them off right now. Come on. Kill, 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 kill. Against the party... Strength of the Passionary. Ooh, that war support's really nice, but you know what? We already have 100% for now. The men who were once the torchbearers of a new vision of Russia have devolved into bickers and factionists. The old guard of the Passionary can no longer be trusted to rebuild the motherland. However, that does not mean Russia does not have a future anymore. Tabrutsky, Serov, and others did not, enjoy the, did not join the Passionary out of idealism, but out of convenience. But they are the ones who torch the t shall be passed on to, and who shall return Russia to glory. Perhaps a proposal to cut them in a deal would increase their power in Komi once is in the works. Alright, at this point, I need another division. Oh, we have no more divisions. Well, god dang it, I should have been trading more divisions. Huh. Oh, crap, they're gonna actually encircle us? Oh, come on. The new votes? Keep these guys in place. As long as they don't take, uh, encircle us, too, that'd be good. Go right there. As much as I want that, we have to hold on to. So, the new vote. Vows, not the votes, but the vows. An interesting question has risen to the ranks of the Passionary once again. Who do we swear our allegiance to? It's never been much of a problem before when the Komi Riot was just as that, a political allegiance could find only to the Komi Republic, but that now remains that now that our realm is beginning to dominate Western Russia, it's becoming too much more of a hot topic amongst the various factions that make up our power base. Tabarsky's group is as is common with them, are pushing for a decidedly monarchist vow, one that swears allegiance to the Tsar Shevarovich, even out of the populace. It's pushing for the vow to be the, for the people. Serov himself is pushing for the oath to be the state. Finding Gumilev has used his influence to try and get the oath not to be the people, nor the state, nor the Tsar, but rather Eurasia as a whole. Each of these groups are using this moment to try and gain influence. A knowing habit of theirs, but in such a tense political environment, it's only expected. In any case, we shall swear allegiance to the concept, the Tsar, the state, the Tsar. You gotta keep him in place. Come on, you've got to move faster. Force the attack. Force it. Doesn't matter what happens. Oh, I should beat them up there. Nice. Okay, there's there should be zero reason why you cannot move any faster. There's absolutely zero reason. Because you already... No, no, Deep Snow. We don't believe in Deep Snow. Deep Snow is fake news. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got another division encircled. Thank goodness. Help this support the attack right now. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh. No, God. You pieces of garbage. I hate... You so much. Get these goddamn communists and kill them all off. Ah, oh, I hate communists. Kill them again. Just kill them again and again and again and again and again. A thousand times if we have to. Thank you. Now kill... Kill them. That should be good enough. I'm gonna have you stay. I'm gonna have you just go right there. Kill them. Thank goodness. We got that division destroyed. Oh, there goes the Slovak state. What the hell are you doing? No! Just go through their lands. What are you doing, son? You know what? Actually, if we could, maybe we could send you to go take all these other places down here. It might give us a little event for a factory. Actually, Vologda would probably give us a factory. A couple factories, actually. Alright, so you guys won, it looks like. You go there. You're going straight for the capital next. Oh, yeah. Magadan's on fire. Uh, let's see. I want that war support, but that's okay. Oh, we need more manpower now. Despotism. Yeah, if we do that, remaining the remnants. Da, da, da. Political power. Yeah, back to the past. Russia is a sick country. The motherland is bitterly divided, and her people are fearful and in want. Easy prey to the traitors and parasites that feast upon its sickened body. Dabrisky tells us it wasn't always like this. Under the Holy Tsar, he says, the Russians walked the path of righteousness. Everyone knew their place in the world and did their duty to the motherland, and for that, she wielded immense wealth and power. Tabrisky wants us to improve our wretched condition, return to the natural order, and step back on the path of righteousness. Once we return to the traditional ways of things, he promises, the glories of the past will return to us. Does the future of Russia lie in the past? Well, according to him, yeah. Yeah, it absolutely does. 
I'm moderately strong? Nice, 69, good. Good, nice. I could buy some equipment, eh, but... Mm, I need more manpower right now. Oh, do we actually core this? Oh, we did core this, nice. And we're still out of manpower, god dang it. You know what, I'll do this one. I want whatever manpower we can grab. Ooh, you have an opportunity right here. You go ahead and just take these guys out for now. Well, where are the trucks? Oh, you're actually still trying to beat these guys up. Uh, Let's go right there. Help kill them off. Just kill them off. There you go. There you go. God dang, this is a giant mess. Oh, come on. Stop encircling me. I am going to kill every single communist here if I have to. Which I will have to. That's fine with me then. But the way they want to do stuff like this? No, no, no. Actually, just go to Vologda first. You could probably take some good stuff from there. Yeah, don't let him live. Oh, we took out. Oh, we took the uh, capital. Great. We're probably gonna get encircled, but uh, that's just me. No, yeah, that's just us. Dude, is that it? Why, why are they not capitulating? <clears throat> are you kidding me? We gotta get all the way down there too. Holy crap! That's not good. You keep him in place. Stop attacking me. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Hey, we killed another division, though. That's really good. Come on, kill another division off. We have 48 manpower. Oof. The goal isn't to win so much. Well, actually, it is to win. But to completely encircle and destroy your enemy divisions. Oh, crap. We can't help you there. You gotta stop that for now. I gotta retreat down here. They can get that back if they really want to. Come on, we don't believe in snow. There we go. There we go. Come on, kill them off. Oh, we're doing pretty well now. Oh, we took Vologda. Actually, I'm just gonna make a break for plus Plusetsk. And we gotta keep some we gotta keep all the political power, like I said yesterday. Uh, we are eventually going to need more political power to core as much as possible to get more manpower back, so if they take that, so be it, whatever, it doesn't really matter. As long as we can kill them off, that's all that matters. Just kill every single one of these pieces of garbage off. Good, we got another one killed. Great! There's still a few divisions down here, but that's fine. That's drama. Good. I'm much more focused up here. Uh, yeah. That's good. Get down there. Can you go, 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 go? That's obviously not good to attack. Like that. Okay, stop attacking. Okay, they attack me. Cool. Keep it up, guys. I like it when you do that. Uh, just, just take all this other area out. That'd be fine. Come on, come on. Yes! Yes! A thousand times yes. Back to the past. Consoling the monarchists, many in Komishia are desire for a return to monarchy, but not all of them support our presidency. This is folly. Now that we've taken power, the cause of monarchism is inescapably tied to us. If we should fail, it will fail along with us. We must make monarchists of every political bent see that we are the only chance that they have of seeing their vision for Russia fulfilled. The Holy Tsar restored, reigning in, in Russia that has returned to greatness. Yes, yes, yes. Overpowering influence by the monarchists. Pieces of garbage go straight to hell and back. We will take the capital. Well, actually, what the capital would be, eventually. Take that. Good. I'm gonna have you guys come over here. If they want to leave, that's totally fine with me. We we've actually reached the Atlantic Ocean, which was a, I forget what sea this is. The Barents Sea. That's right. Oh, come on. Let's get over there. Come on. Go go go. Actually, yeah. Let's get over there because trying to get over to Archangelus from over the river is god awful. So. We didn't get any event saying that we took out Vologda. That sucks. I thought they had like a special factor, because that's what usually happens. Ben has been inaugurated. Really proved to be a master of compromise. Nah. Compromise? Don't really need compromise. Hey, we took that plus, or whatever it is. Kill every single god dang piece of garbage division. Oh. Good, we got in there, but we're, we actually might lose. Yeah, we gotta make a lot more IFBs when we're done here. 
Because those are like the only thing that I really know that we have to, that are motorized. We don't have any motorized, we just have IVs. Alright, I'm gonna send you up here now. <clears throat> they can injure themselves as much as they want. This is not gonna be good for us though. Come on, give up. Give up, you pieces of garbage. You've lost the war. How close are they? How many divisions? They have three divisions left, and they still won't give up. You've killed off 43,000 more men. Ooh, black arms trade increase. This usually happens every game, so if you want to read about this, go right ahead. But I'm not going to. It just it happens every game. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey! Oh, thank goodness. I don't think we, we didn't even take the capital yet. Cool. Anti-Bolshevik maneuvering. Good God, that would took a while. But hey, we actually did it, and I was worried about them the most. All right. So which area is Arkhangovsk, Platsk, Uks, Vologda? So Vologda, that's quite a bit of manpower. Uh, that's not a lot. Arkhangovsk, Mezin. Oh, that's a lot. Um, I think I'll do that, the one here first. And then, let's... Eh. Vologda is probably best to do next. Yeah, we get three courts in three places. That, that'd be good enough for us. I'm glad I saved my uh, political power up. Now, Vyadka and them are killing each other down there. Good. And this will actually give us more entrenchment, which will be good. I usually don't choose offensive strategy because we don't tanks. I like the less supply consumption and more soft attack, but more organization is just good for all. Just for so many things. Prepare and read up. Systems happy 65 though, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. After this, we shall do Consolidate the Block, Neutral Suit of Bologda, Ultimate Ultimatum to the Neutrals, Demands of Submission, Cast Down Democracy, Print of Strike. Against the Oh, that's Western Russian Revolutionary Front. Oh, wait, what what? We completed that which was nice. Shatter the front. We declare war on the... Okay, well... Slightly decreased scoring time, that'd be nice, but let's consolidate the block. We must choose a layer strike on the front, and instead target the neutral suit of Vologda that lies to our west. By striking at Vologda, we will be able to lock down everything south of the front's current territories, starving the communists and preventing them from bringing a more, any more of Russia under their hateful influence. Additionally, we will be capable of using the resources of the city for our own purposes for the future of reclamation of the west. It's really... Oh. Cool. Ultimatum to the neutrals. Mm, we are out of manpower and probably guns at this point, but the state of Vologda presents an interesting dilemma for our generals. It is a decent army, although not as strong as the front itself, yet it is, at least, formally apolitical. Our strategists have deemed it as possible having sympathies with our cause of a communist-free Russia, but possibly opposed to our extremist ideology, thus. It is at least worth an attempted diplomacy. Putting our best foot forward, we will send an ultimatum to Vologda, offering them compensation for unification with our state and significant investments in the region. If they do not wish or accept our generous officer, of course, there will be trouble. Okay. Let's just bypass everything, why don't we? Well, I, this is honestly a little upsetting. Or maybe not upsetting, but a little worrisome. That we we have a pretty big border with the Oberkommando Brauschitzstadt. So, oh yeah. The, for some reason, I thought Vologda was Samara. Or Samara. Okay, cool. Cast down democracy. Vologda has been secured, whether it be by pen stroke or gunshot. Now there lies the task of casting down the democratic institutions of the former city-state, much as we dissolve the same weakened backwards institutions in our own state. Our promises to the people of Vologda will stand to an extent, but we must alter the deal regarding their level of autonomy within our state. We have no tolerance for political havens of liberalism within our very borders. And we actually complete that, too. Because we want to go to war as fast as possible. Well, maybe not for now. Oh, we can, we can raid Brauschitzstadt? Oh, the Royalists assemble. Very cool. And we still need to integrate these people, too. So, Dabaritsky had spared no expense when he put together the assembly in a show. He didn't like making full use of his money and connections publicly, but for this rare occasion, he thought the display of wealth and opulence was worth a little more exposure. The imperial decorations and luxurious refreshments would reinforce his message of imperial greatness. He gave the invited guests ample time to enjoy both and waited until a little over two hours into the party before judging that the time has come and taking the stage. 
Dear friends, dear fellow my Russians, we have taken an important step towards unifying our great Tsardom. It is, however, but the first step of many. Since the loss of the Holy Tsar, Russia has fallen far. Our motherland is lies broken and shattered. Her people divided, fearful, and in need. That unrighteous betrayal and our failure to prevent it sets us on the path to destruction, and now the only path back is through righteousness. A righteous Tsar to lead a righteous people. A righteous people to march away from the humiliations of today and yesterday. Today, away from the specter of fear, want, and division towards a future where greatness of Russia is restored. The Tsar lives. Alexei II survived the Bolshevik terror and waits in hiding for his throne to be restored. Only then will it be safe for him to return. Only then will righteousness rule the land once more. Until that time, strong leadership is needed to prepare Russia for, the, for his arrival. As regent, I will provide that leadership. I will lead us on the path of righteousness, and I welcome all of you to walk it with me. Together we will restore Russia to greatness. Together we will destroy the Bolsheviks, traitors, and parasites that let her fall to ruin, and who will surely now oppose us. <clears throat> and with that, he held a toast. First to the assembled guests, then to Russia, and finally to the Holy Tsar, and punctuated the toast and his speech by forcefully hurling his glass to the floor. He left the stage to the sound of a hundred glasses smashing as his guests repeated the gesture. The Regency has begun! Oh boy. Oh boy. I can't wait. Everyone wants the Tsar back, and nothing's going to be bad. Hopefully we have enough guns. Oh, we do have plenty of guns. Wow, we actually got... Wait, look at all the stuff we got. Except for anti-tank, of course. Oh, actually, mm, you guys. I'm going to duplicate, since we do have enough army XP. Actually, are you good at garrisons? Hold on. Let's see. You are at 15 suppression, which is pretty good, because, of course, they have more battalions. You have how much suppression? One. While normal infantry has 1.5. So, let's come over to here, this one. For now, these got to be the garrison divisions. Save, thank you. And take that stuff off. There you go. Because I don't want to waste re recon of support equipment for all this stuff here. So technically, man per, per division, lower is better, and that's the best one we've got so far. So all we need are guns for this. So that'll be good. We'll need, we won't need anti-tank for this. Why is it going down still? Yeah, we have some rebels and stuff, but they'll be taken care of soon enough. Vyadka, Samara. I, I kind of want to take out Samara first, because it was recommended earlier in the campaign that I probably should, since they can be usually pretty gosh darn strong. But that's okay. Whoever wins, I mean, it's going to be a struggle anyways. Oh, that's why we have deficits down here, too. And actually, what are we currently on for occupied territories? Local police force? We lose compliance. Let me go with that. I want more compliance. Give me more compliance. More, 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 more. Wow. Mop up the spare. If you want to read about that, go right ahead. Cast on democracy. Dissolve a pact. When can we go with Samara? I guess we we really do have to push through this as fast as possible because I don't want to have anyone too strong to fight us. Alexei lives. Oh, I hope so. Dissolve the pact. With the Reds gone and buried or packed with the Tsar to the south has outlived its usefulness. Vyatka no longer represents a possible ally, but rather a rival for regional supremacy. The pact must be formally dissolved at once, and our forces are prepared to strike south at the moment's notice. Vladimir, of course, does not need to know about this until time comes. If that's the case, then I guess... It looks like Vyatka is doing pretty darn w Oh, well, don't tell me they're a puppet. Oh, they're a puppet. God dang it. Hey, weapons, equipment, nice. It is 65... I think we can maybe delay this a little bit more, but I want to get a more output first. Factory up by 12.5. Yes. We gotta get that. Absolutely have to get that. Cool. Samara's? Mm, I don't know. They're, they're both doing okay here. Can we see how many divisions they each have? Crisis, ongoing complex. Siberian Soviet War. Da, da, da. Oh, Samara Vyakov. Well, they have about anywhere between 7 to 13 versus 9 to 13. I have 7. They've lost more guys. They've technically have more factories on their side. Just keep killing each other. Thumbs up. Hey, look at her GDP. Not bad. Samara is pretty hard to take out though, because they are their capital so entrenched in there. So if that's the case, I hope. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Intelligence, two thousand manpower. I hope that Samara loses, because they have so much manpower, and more divisions. Samara, please lose. Come on, Vyatka. This is all the pact. Great. Topple the Tsar. Oh God. If we topple the Tsar, it's going to be more difficult to take the enemy out. What if we take him out? We have a greater chance of getting more of their territory. And factories. 
<clears throat> it's not about <clears throat> excuse me it's not about how many divisions you have to a degree it is but more about how you use them to so the time has come to strike south finally and secure the fertile lands of Yatka. the Tsar and the pretender Vladimir the third may pretend that his army is a preeminent power but we know the truth from careful observation the white army is tired with outdated tactics and aging generals the time for the old empire's long since past there can be no peace or compromise with a symbol of the distant shameful past there is only to be a swift and strike over the Vyako River, bringing an end to the last relic of the Russian Civil War. They are pretenders. Let us be real here. They are pretenders. This is, going to, this is literally going to seal the deal for these guys. We only have seven divisions, though. Jesus. I want to do this stuff, but it's just not worth it. Oh, wow. We can buy a lot from these guys. Man pads. <clears throat> oh, well. Oh, well. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Warlord development. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Cool. How much longer will this take to get done? May 16th. Oh, we'll be at war before then. <coughs> After that, indulge the monarchists? Probably. We need to own Vyatka. Own Vyatka. Slightly decrease coring time. New capital. Secure the border. Yeah, that'd probably be pretty good. Demand Nizhny Novgorod. Yeah, hopefully they submit, but I doubt they would. Mountaineer. A world to the Mladorosi. Battle of Barcelona? Cool. A threat to Bredneski. Stability or slightly decreased scoring time. Aryans no more. Double Tsar. Cool. And we can't do anything there, so we come back up here. Alexei lives. In the early hours of July 17th, 1918, the Holy Tsar was murdered by Bolshevik traitors. It was said that at the time that his only son and heir, Tsarevich Alexei, was murdered as well, but that is a lie. The righteous Tsar lives. The Tsar lives. Whisked away before the traitors could kill him, and in hiding for almost 50 years now, he awaits a time when Russia has returned to the path of righteousness. Only then will he return and restore the greatness that we all know in the past. Until that time, Sergei Tabertsky will rule in his place as regent to unite Russia behind his rule and make the country ready for his return. Uh, he, oh, oh, yeah. It looks like these guys are actually pushing him pretty darn well. And, okay, someone won an awesome. We don't really care, though. If we could take Vyatka, that'd be great. Are you guys... Oh, crap. No, don't do that. Cut them off at the capital. Uh, who are you? Samara. Are we fighting the same war together? If we cut off the capital, we can cut them all. Hey, we got look at that, we got some manpower. We probably have more factories to use now. Oh my goodness. I still want to scavenge for loot. <laughs> that probably wouldn't be very smart of us to do right now, though. 95, pretty good. Uh, actually, we can't core anything else, but once Vyak is gone, we have to core their territory, so that wouldn't be too bad. Are we missing anything besides... we? Whoa! We actually have enough anti-tank? If that's the case, we're making two of these divisions at the same time, then. And we're out of manpower again, but whatever. No, what else is new? We're actually breaking down through here, too. That's pretty good. Awesome. Cut them off. Help them out. Hey, we cut the capital off. Awesome. End of the South African War. Peace at last. I wonder what it cost them, though. What did it cost you? Everything? Let's hope so. We actually have enough supplies. This is weird. This is very, very weird. Do you have any other... Upgrades, and only level 3. He is an infantry leader and an expert, so. Anything over here? Not really. He's an urban assault specialist, which is cool. Come on, take out Vyatka. I know you're probably fighting over a river, but whatever. You know what? You help out right there. You go right there. Take as many cities as you can. You are fighting literally everyone over here by yourself, so good luck. Hey, we took the capital. Nice. Siberian Black League, cool. Where's the capital now? Oh, is, oh, all the way down there. Oh, we got encircled. That's not good. <clears throat> that is very not good. Actually, oh crap, I must have lost that one division. I must have lost the IFVs. Oh, the hell with the IFVs then. I'm changing you to main battle tanks then. My bad. I lost the only motorized we had. <laughs> Whoopsie. But they serve their purpose. Come on, if we can get in the capital, we probably can capitulate them. At least hopefully. Hey, yep, they're gone. Alexei lives. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 
Draft a constitution. A focus on methods. Convention. We have rescued all of Western Russia, so... A means to an end? The breadth of thought in our movements extends to political strategy. While there is a good general agreement, we need to be diligent in managing public support and opposition. What measures we should use and where our focus should be is proving a difficult discussion. Some believe that information campaigns about our great work should be enough to keep the public on our side, although others propose we tie ourselves much more strongly to the Orthodox Church. There is also support for campaigns to suppress dissident and opposition more forcefully, with this agreement centering on more proposed extent and violence of them. It is time to make a decision. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and educate them. That'd be good. I don't think we'll have enough time to scavenge for loot. I really want to scavenge for loot, though. I really like loot. <laughs> but instead, we'll do this one. Just in case. Last time, we'll do it. Oh, we actually found some more guys. Oh, We have more divisions. Oh, so it'd be so helpful when we try to take out the enemies of Samada. Just go there. You'll be fine. Screw it. You just go, go that way. Once we take this city, we should probably get most of Vyatka taken out. Vyatka could have had a great alliance with us, but they chose poorly. Palmheim. That should be it, right? That should be it. You're going to do that, and then take these guys out. You're going to go straight for Ufa. Ufa, Ufa, Ufa. And is Hevsk mechanical plant has been captured. After conquering the city of Izhevsk, we have secured a control over the mechanical plant, the single greatest center of arms production in West Russia. The city has long been used to pump out enormous quantity of pistols, rifles, and other small arms after the collapse of the Western Revolutionary Front. West R Russian Revolutionary Front. The city and its factory became the property of Vladimir Romanov, the purported successor to the Russia's late Tsar, who used it to build up his reactionary forces in a play for regional domination. Now that the plan is solidly ours, we can use it for ma the same purposes. In the Great Patriotic War and the West Russian War, it was one of the primary producers of weapons for a huge number of soldiers. We can ensure that our armies are armed with new, modern firearms, while our opponents struggle to assemble outdated arsenals. Drown them in a wave of lead. Oh, yes, 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 a billion, gazillion times yes. And look at that GDP. Our growth is 3%. Not bad. A focus on methods. We should probably draft a constitution then. The anti-establishment coalition. Huh. What does that do? <coughs> hmm. The pack needs to hold together long enough to defeat the chief rivals and reduce the running of a two-horse race? I'm not really sure. So, in order to strengthen our hold on the Republic and guide it to a better future, we shall draft a new constitution. Let's mark a break with the corrupt old order and let us show the Republic our good intentions. That the drafting process will show us where the prominent voices in our organization land on key issues, and who in our organization commands influence to push their favorite clauses through is just an added benefit, of course. Uh, before we do that, can we do anything else down here? No. So, we might as well. I think that would be a good thing to do, probably, right? Holy crap, how many more divisions do they have down there? That's a lot. Just hold on then for now. A means to an end. Shevavich poured himself another drink. Gumilov erased another line he didn't like. Taborsky accidentally tore another clump of hair from his scalp. <laughs> Each of the men sat in their own homes, dwelling on thoughts of the past and the future as they shamelessly tried to throw themselves into projects to distract from or alleviate these. <clears throat> Mr. S knew he had to make both some sacrifices and some compromises to get where he was uh, at the cusp of power. Yet, as he set the bottle down, he couldn't help but worry. He felt that what he was doing was for the good of Russia. He swore to himself, and yet he thought himself drifting further from his principles as he climbed into the echelons of the party, but god dang, it was a long climb. Gumilayov, as he always did, was polishing one of his rough theories, scribbling on an old sheet of paper at his desk. The time was coming when these would be fact, and he had worked hard to near that occasion. He didn't have the same way with words as his father, the poor dude, <clears throat> but he was having an easy enough time getting the idea out. Shame they wouldn't stay on the page as he scratched out each halfway decent sentence he wrote. Determination and, for the lack of a better term, passion had brought him to this point, but as evidenced by this writer's block, would it bring him any further than this? Taborutsky, meanwhile, was on a roll. While passion had brought Gumilev to the top and Shevarevich had planned his way there, Taborutsky rose in a frenzy. That was his constant state. He had to be planning, moving, seething, thus. While the rest of those in the household were asleep, he was tearing through maps ranging from 1600 all the way back to 1962. Most of them were wrong, but he continued to look through them one after an uh, after the other over and over in search of the true monarch of Russia. That was his goal, after all. To rebuild, to grow. Russia, like him, was a controlled frenzy. Tearing, shouting, cutting, whatever you get, get there. Whatever gets you there. Absolutely. Pakistan becomes independent. What's a Pakistan? Just go and take all this territory so we don't have to deal with it later on. Man. Krasnok... Krasnokomsk. Cool. Just go, 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 go. Oh, let's go from the front line. We have... Was it eight divisions? Nine divisions? 
Awesome. Oh, look at that. We took... Oh my goodness. I'm so glad we went to war with Vyatka then. We screwed these guys over in terms of territory. Now we have a lot of garbage territory. Well, not a garbage territory, but a lot of territory that we've got to fix up. Let's go and do Vyatka first. And then... Actually, we'll just do all of them. Nice. Now, Samara probably doesn't like that. And black market luxury trading increases. We'll probably fix that later on. Totally cool. No problems. Yeah, all that stuff is just about... Is the house, which we don't care about, so... 30 factories. Nice. Now, these guys probably didn't like it that they were fighting Vyatka and got nothing out of it. Go to heck, Vlasov. 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 Yeah, Vlasov. Draft the Constitution. Secure the border. Uh, push to the Urals. Mm, secure the Crown Lands. I like that. I like slightly less coring time. Let's do that so we can maybe get some time to core the territory and get the factories out of that. So. <clears throat> With the capital captured and its vast population now under our guiding hand, the time has come to incorporate and in, 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 to integrate the territory. Officials must be tested for loyalty, taxes must be collected, bandits and holdouts must be eliminated, and census must, must be conducted. Only once this long process of integration is completed can we hope to see the full potential of our latest conquest finally realized. And that'll be good. And of course, we're going to get through all this as fast as possible. <clears throat> Within the shadow of midnight, Gumilev did not sleep. Instead, while the people slept and gears turned, he waited. For the others, while there were many more public meetings to come, the first discussion of the new constitution was here, perhaps private, secure, and always from the prying eyes. Shafarevich was the first to arrive, a polite grin on his face as he passed into the room like a peacock, strolling with an elegant yet leisurely galt, or gait. Gumilev nearly rolled his eyes at the display, for there were no crowds at this hour for him to woo with his honeyed words and silver tongue. Greetings were exchanged, then patience. Next came Seraphs, entering slowly and intently as his eyes swept across the room like a wolf eyeing the landscape or its next meal. Ambition was something all, his had, all of his guests had, but the former leftists had history they did not. Finally, the final guest slithered in silently. His eyes slit and his smile unnervingly fixed. A reaction Sergei Tabarisky commonly got from those he spoke with was befuddlement at best and terror at worst. All of his guests would have a say in his paper rested between the four men to gather in their legitimacy to, for the new state, and all of his guests eyed his position over power eagerly. We would have to be dealt with. All would have to be dealt with, but who would to marginalize first? Igor's wings can be clipped. No, Ivan's leash needs to be tightened. He is probably. Uh, let's see, the foremost is Shafarevich. No. Oh, wait. Oh, third turn. Socialism still has a power vacuum. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we want to get rid of the form reformists. Oh, which one's the reformists? Oh, yeah, it's Shafarevich. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do Ivan's things first, though. Nice. Hopefully, these guys don't mind that we took over all the lands from Vyatka. The shield broken, they'll even kill each other. Yeah, they will. Got 24 days for these guys, which is good. We can still raid against them, Jesus. How many divisions do they have? That's an interesting flag, I will say. Arak von dem Bach. Local Arak from Populous. Army with the state. No manpower. Actually, they don't have that many divisions. So, a crucial facet of any state. As the structure of the economy and our constitution needs to lay out how we will approach ours. The breadth and thought in our alliance means there are many competing ideas for how to address this. There's a general agreement that the government needs to be in control of several important sectors in the economy, but beyond that, there's little common ground to be found. A large faction contend that we must allow market forces to operate in non-strategic spheres of the economy. Let's say private enterprises will compl complement their state-run counterparts to provide greater welfare for all. The best way to achieve both would be to, for, to provision for private property rights in a constitution while also specifying that it can be overruled and under what conditions. There are many, however, who believe that we can only realize our plans under total command economy. Everything in the Republic belongs to the whole nation, and it's only right that the nation be empowered to mobilize every farmer, worker, and cleric to achieve its aims. Private businesses will always, by their very nature, undermine this aim. The Constitution should, according to the faction, define all property as belonging to the state. Tabarisky's faction advocates a third approach. They say that while it is these modern economic theories and structures that got Russia to this sorry state, we must cast away these foreign theories and look back to the heyday of Russia. The traditional way of life is what will restore Russia to greatness and start with the economy. The Constitution must empower the state to take any measures necessary to turn Russians to where they belong. And allow private property. I kind of like that. Command economy, that sounds kind of wild. A return to tradition. A return to monk. Cool. Awesome. And how, how long is this? Oh, it's just two more weeks. And actually, we'll have this one down, too. So then we'll probably do army reserve training. 
a matter of civil structure with more power secured. New options for the future of our state have come to the table as the Constitution begins its drafting. One such debate has recently come into view of our leadership, the role of the central government in relation to the various regions. Tabritsky, of course, proposes that regional administrations hold no power, and only the central government would rule with an iron fist. Sha Shafarovich instead proposes a later alternative, federalism, leaving some power in the hands of regional administrations while the central government still rules strongly. Lastly, Gomelayev fights strongly for self-determination among the regions instead of forming a sort of confederacy. Tensions increase, and ultimately one side wins a day. With confederacy, you got me really interested, but we've got to go with Mr. Mr. Monarchy right there. Mr. Monarchist. If you would like to read about Army Reserve training, go right ahead. We do get less minimum training level, more recruitable population factor, and more defense and 20 more organization. Wow. Indicates combat readiness and how organiz organized a unit is. Unit you know, with no organization. Ooh. Does what? Does what? Can't fight or move effectively. Cool. How is this news? Rift in the leadership, huh? Ooh, thief military of Yugra. <clears throat> Alright. Secure the border. Along the... Along the long and porous border of the German occupation zone, numerous states have sprung up, forming a clear western flank to secure against potential German invasion. We must prioritize securing the border strip and eliminating the various warlords that possess uh, any easy routes for a German incursion into Russia's heartland. Only we can be trusted to effectively defend against a German scourge, and a rhetoric towards the warlords of the west must reflect this. Yes, absolutely. Mm, actually, warlord of villain. We could probably look at this again. I would like some more of this stuff, but we don't have a manpower part. We really got it. Or political power. Or manpower, really. We could get more stability. Mm, you know what? We're not at war yet. Let's go get some more stability. That'd be fine. Secure some more control. Uh, 100 overpowering. And it looks like we finally got the core on Berezniki. Oh, boy. Who's... Hmm. Samer... Oh, yeah. Samer's doing it. I kind of figured they would eventually, so... Wipe out the fractured state. Well, hopefully we don't die here. We're building Samira, huh? Ooh, oh, wow, where are they? Oh, they're all, all the way down here. Oh, they have one day. Oh, oh, we can't secure the border. Oh, that's sad. Well, yeah, that's the case. Let's see, what's on down here? Because we can't do this yet. The convention, we have secured all of Western Russia, so we're kind of stuck. Indulge the monarchists? Despite the shameful state of Yadka and the treacherous nature of the false Tsar Vladimir, the ideology of monarchism is hardly discredited as a viable means of governing Russia. Sergei Tabrisky and his monarchist faction, while quite divergent from the rest of our front, are influential nonetheless and advocate strongly for preserving and protecting the history of the Tsardom. To indulge Tabrisky and his followers, we could place several of his supporters in high administrative positions in the newly conquered territories of Vyatka. With Tabrisky himself as a local governor, while this is most certainly will allow him to gain power, influence, and support amongst the people, could it be worth it to, secure, to ensure or secure that the holy traditions of Russia are preserved, protected, and rightfully reserved? Or revered? Hopefully. Hey! Another military factory. Don't mind if we do. Going to do that. And then, yeah. Early cast fighters. Actually, do we have any planes? Oh, wait. How long have we had planes? Cass? Pre-war fighters? Oh, my goodness. This will actually come in handy right now, then. I didn't realize we had these guys. Awesome. We have no manpower, of course, but... You are, of course, our core, as well as you. This is not... Our, actually, that's our core as well. Cool. So I'm going to assume that, that they're going to attack us first. They're trying to move into our territory in some locations. I really wish we did not kill off our own... Uh, <laughs> a little IFVs, but you know what? It is what it is. What can you do? So they're going to come in, like, really fast. So we got to hold them in place. And we'll slowly but surely, hopefully, we'll kill off enemy divisions. Let's hope so. Nice. We're actually doing pretty well. I'm glad we... Okay, then! I'm glad that we did our land auction, because that probably did help out quite a bit. Mm, Orenberg, huh? You beat these guys up. Of course, those are our normal, probably good infantry divisions. <clears throat> good. Smash them. We lost boar, but whatever. What a boar. Oh, oh, yeah, you, you hold. Don't worry about that for now. We'll just do whatever we can to kill off enemy divisions. Hey, we killed off one enemy division, and we got free military factory. Not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> hmm. 
Can you use a few more plants? Of course, we do have air superiority. That's probably part of the reason why we're doing actually okay now. Ooh, we need more guns. Do we really need more guns? No, we have plenty of guns. Hmm. There we go. Actually, hmm. Quite a bit of lag, that's okay. You guys pull there. You know, you help double stack. You might be able to kill them off over there. Central Siberian Republic is gone. Oh boy. Goodbye. Hey, look at that. That's what we like to see. Beautiful. And they're dead, even before they could do anything else. Good, good, good. Actually, you know, go right there and do that. There you go. You're fighting over a river, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Okay, we must probably have severe issues now, but that's fine. Cool. Kill them off. Indulge the monarchists? Why not? Move the capital of Vyatka. Oh, we have to be at peace. Uh, is there anything else that we do here? We get all that stuff, but I don't really want to. I don't want them to get any more influence. I'm not sure we actually have to do that, so we're not going to. Eurasia forever. Experimental dream. You hit the party. No, I think we're already pretty good. Well, I guess we'll save up our political power, because we could probably we, we need to use it for later, so. Cool, the governorship of Vyatka. Vyatka, after long troubles under our domain, years of animosity between us and them have come to a head in a climactic struggle, one that, thankfully, we have won. However, the years of monarchist rule in the region have left it culturally decidedly Tsar, something that part of our faction decided to use to their advantage. Tabritsky's clique has begun to push uh, to have him nominated as a Grand Duke of Vyatka. While there's no real harm by granting him the request, outside of some extra legitimacy for his way of view viewing things, some within our faction have pushed against his move, claiming that it's merely a waste of time in trying ourselves to the Tsar's days. The decision must be made. Who? Political power? But appoint the most skilled and qualified candidate, Taboritsky. Beautiful. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for that. Good. Very bueno. They're gonna struggle there, but that's okay. Kill them off immediately. Good. So good. Once they leave Yella Boga. Yella Boga. That sounds like a funny a funny word. Yalla boga. That's okay. Oh crap, we got encircled here. Maybe I should pay attention to the side a little bit more. Hello. Would you like to get encircled? Oh, come on. Get out of the way. Oh, we lost a plant. So be it. I mean, they're all going to get cut off anyway, so good luck with that. <clears throat> good. And we got the plant back for now. Kill them off. Good, 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 good. Wait, what the heck? Nope, nope. There you go. Beat them up. Kill them off. And we got them to go again. God dang it. How many times can we increase black market trading? Oh, it's light? It's only light? What the heck? Okay, well, whatever. Good, took them out. At this point, if they want to expand south, that's fine. I'm just going to kill this, these guys off over here. Come on, force the attack. Good. Gotta get quirky. I want to do a just... Oh, whoa, what happened to their division? I'm going to assume it's still over here somewhere, maybe? You're looking a little weak right there. That's fine. Hey, look at that. Something we love. Good. Before they all died. Indonesian War, the Pacific Alight. Cool. Anything else we can do here? Hmm. Why not? Because we can. Kazan would be kind of cool to get. <clears throat> Arsk. How many men have we killed off? Let's see. We have taken 3,000 casualties, but they've taken 46,000. 
We probably have the same number of divisions now, but that's not going to last for very long, is it? Take Kazan, and then just cut all these guys off if you can. That'd be good. Oh, we're not going over here, which is fine. Vlog of Wealth. Seize Vlog of Wealth. That's fine. You know, that's okay. Can't win. You know, kind of hang out for now. Any more upgrades? No, it's level 4, though. That's pretty good. Oh, we actually lost a battle, huh? Go figure. As long as they're not moving over there, that's fine with me. Come over here and cut these guys off if you can. You can take them out. Cool. Alright, you know what? Both of you get, might be able to smash that group, maybe. Kind okay, of good. Don't get encircled, so you hold on to there. Cool. These guys are in circle, but we need a little bit of time right there. Move in, please. Thank you. Oh, they not like that. You're going to hold, then. You're going to come in here. Uh, actually, yeah, you hold there. You're going to do that same thing. Cool. That's fine right here. Just mop this up. And you guys can do that. Why not? Beat them up, because you can. What do we do? We just like beating people up here. Uh, go there, there, there. Go straight into there if you can. China? Oh, National Production Army. Cool. And Takagi elected Prime Minister of uh, Japan. Cool. Good job, guys, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Good luck with that. Let you guys get a little more reorganized. No, you don't need to go there. Why do you guys keep going over there? Come back over here. You need to come up on this side. Hey, go off another division. Beautiful. Hang out for now. I'll be fine. And we got encircled. God dang it, you pieces of crap. I hate you guys so much. Not everyone watching, just these Samara folk. I hate Samara. Let's go, go straight for the capital at this point. You guys go down there and cut these guys off. Good. I want you, you're, you're still headed down south, which is fine. You go right there, actually. Take that guy out, hopefully. We got, god dang it, encircled again. Are you kidding me? Stop encircling me, you pieces of garbage. Force the attack, then. Actually, you know what? Cut that guy off. Good. Kill every single one of these pieces of garbage off. Samara, you're done. You're done. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Out of manpower again, but what else is new? Stop cutting me off, you pieces of garbage. Why did you go that way? That makes no sense. Don't go that way. Go to Kazan or something. I doubt we can get in there before these guys get in there. You hold, we don't we lose that, that's fine. Yeah, kill them all off. Good. Kill this division off. Force the attack. Force it and kill every single one of them. Ugly truth, a bad day to be Polish. Yeah, especially in this timeline. That's okay though. They'll find a way to survive. They always do. Well, a good number of them. Wow, we just got off my own division there. Wow. Oh well. We can remake that division. Actually, that division wasn't very good anyways. How many men have we lost? 11,000? 61,000. How many more do you want? How many more Russians do you want dead? Samara, stop this madness. Good. You don't need to go that way. And neither do you. How many more must die? No, get down here. Just encircle them. Don't kill them off yet. Don't, don't. God dang it, you pieces of garbage. Why do you win so fast? Ah, we got more free civilian factories. Oh, wow, we got oh, yeah, quite a few. Wow. Look at that. Hmm. 
liberals, liberals reunify Kazakhstan. Is that is that early? That seems kind of early to me. Well, that's just me. Yeah, our guys are looking really flipping injured now because we don't have any manpower. I why don't why can't we get any more manpower? I thought we were on like two year conscription or something. Kill every single one of them off. Get down here. Get down. No, I grabbed you. Come on, move, move down here. Don't let them. God dang it. I hate Samara so much. They're so hard to take out. Don't let them move. Just seriously, don't let them move. This is very risky, because these divisions are so incredibly weak, because we have no manpower. Uh, go and grab more out factory output. That'd be fine. Got plenty of political power, though. That's pretty good. Just cut them off. Just go down there as fast as you possibly can. Cut the guys up in the north off, and they'll have no divisions left. Good. Where the hell are you going? You're going to Samara. You? I'll gladly let you go over here and deal with these guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, maybe that's a bad idea. That hurts our strength. Go, 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 go. Oh, we captured the plant. If you want to read about that, go right ahead. I just, I want to get through this quickly, so. <clears throat> the power of modern warfare unleashed. Cool. We have no tanks, though. So. We only have seven divisions. We have 700 million in terms of GDP. Not bad. Come on, you guys can do it. <clears throat> Good. How much more do we need? Jesus Christ, I hate Samara so much. Poland Feldzug. Cool. That's fine. As long as they don't they can't move, that would be good. Just go this you know, just take Samara. What do you I guess that's the fastest route there, huh? Our reserve training, cool. <clears throat> and now we've built up a massive stockpile of political power. Which is awesome. Oh we've done it. Oh my gosh, I hate Samara so much. Like I said, for the third time. We've done, we've done it. We've actually lost quite a few divisions. If that's the case, go ahead and do this. I'm going to convert all of you guys immediately to the... Ooh, which one's better? I think the second one was better. Yeah, the second one was better. I'm just go ahead and convert them all. We need so much manpower and stuff, but we must make it like that. There we go. Cool. And secure the border. We've already read this. Hopefully it'll auto-cancel or auto-go by. Maybe not. Demand the stuff, but we'll do that anyways. And... And you get all these places. So, well, and the episode there, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow. We will hopefully reunify all of the western portion of Russia. And have a good time doing so. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.